Deep Seek's back, and this time with a bold claim. Their new model can cut the cost of long, complex tasks in half. At the same moment, OpenAI Sora shot to number one on Apple's App Store in just two days. Sam Altman is already gearing up to monetize. Meanwhile, Mira Marathi, a former OpenAI CTO, has launched Tinker, the first product from her startup, claiming it's a breakthrough in fine-tuning AI. IBM released Granite 4.0, a hybrid architecture that slashes memory use by over 70%, yet still delivers punchy performance. And Hollywood just announced a film that will be directed, not by a human, but by an AI. These aren't small moves. This is us crossing thresholds. Let's begin with DeepSeek. After a quiet stretch, they've returned with V3.2X, a model build as capable of having runtime costs for long tasks. That's huge in an era where running complex systems can bankrupt teams. So how do they pull it off? With sparse attention. Normally, a model sifts through every token in long text, wasteful and expensive. DeepSeek's trick, a lightning indexer scans broadly to pick important passages, then a fine-grained token selector zooms into those passages, isolating the key tokens. Two filters in sequence. The result? Their early tests show API calls with huge context cost up to 50% less. And yes, v3.2x is open on Hugging Face and published on GitHub so developers can verify it themselves. Now, while models fight for efficiency, adoption is winning in the marketplace, and Sora is proof. OpenAI's video generation app hit number one in the US App Store in just two days, with 56,000 installs on day one and 164,000 in the first 48 hours. That launch outpaced Claude, Microsoft Copilot, even their own ChatGPT. Altman already teased monetization, a revenue share model for rights holders with fine control over how likenesses are used, moving beyond opt-in to something dynamic and user-governed. The bigger challenge is cost. Sora's usage is ballooning. Much of it is niche content, which means server costs are rising steeply. The revenue share scheme is partly meant to offset that, while rewarding creativity instead of limiting it. Altman says the final pricing will take iteration, but the thrust is clear. Make creating video compelling, even under a paid model. Then there's Tinker. Mira Moradi's new startup is making waves. This isn't another no-code tool, it's Python-first developer grade, giving you control over training loops, loss functions, data pipelines, while offloading the infrastructure to thinking machines. Think you keep 90% of algorithmic control and ditch 90% of GPU slash scale headaches. Already, multi-university teams are using it. Princeton's Godel Group fine-tuned theorem-proving models to 88.1% accuracy, rising to 90.4% with self-correction. Berkeley's SkyRL team used it to scale multi-agent reinforcement loops. Redwood Research trained QN332B on long context control tasks they'd never tried before. Praise is pouring in. John Shulman called it the infrastructure I've always wanted. Kripathi praised its design. Ray co-founders called it scale unlocking. Tinker is in closed beta now and usage-based pricing is coming. With backing from A16Z, NVIDIA, and Excel, this could rival closed ecosystems. Next, IBM's Granite 4.0. They didn't just build another transformer, they designed a hybrid, MEMA 2 plus transformer at a 9 to 1 ratio. That change alone cuts memory demands by more than 70%. In practice, that means heavy workloads need far fewer GPUs. Granite 4.0 comes in four versions, a 32B variant of which only 9B are active, a 7B that acts like 1B, and two smaller models, one hybrid, one pure transformer. They trained them across massive windows, 500K tokens, and tested out to 128K. The mid-tier beats most open models in reasoning, holds on function calling, and costs far less to run. IBM didn't stop there. They built trust measures. Granite 4.0 is the first open family with ISO certification for AI management, with each release cryptographically signed. You can access versions across Hugging Face, Watson X, Stalker Hub, Replicate, Kaggle. For enterprises, this is the hybrid performance and governance they've been waiting for. Finally, Hollywood, an Italian producer just announced a feature film directed entirely by AI. The film, The Sweet Idleness, is helmed by an AI entity, Felon AI, with human oversight. No live actors. The trailer is fully AI-generated. Enter Tilly Norwood, 
an AI actor whose performance blew up to Bates. Emily Blunt called it terrifying for eroding human connection. Wilby Goldberg says it's unfair to pit humans against models built on thousands of their performances. SAG weighed in. Tilly isn't an actor, just a digital creation. The controversy itself is the signal. If human performers believe AI won't compete, they'd stay silent. But they're pushing back, and that speaks volumes. Producer Andrea Iervelino insists he's not replacing cinema, but exploring what comes next. With credits like Ferrari and To the Bone on the Rise, this is more than French. So that's where we are. Sparsity tricks cutting costs, video apps storming charts, developer tools unlocking new frontiers, hybrid models redefining infrastructure, and AI stepping behind the camera. This space doesn't slow down. Thanks for staying till the end. Drop your thoughts below. Hit like if this resonated. Subscribe to stay on the leading edge. I'll see you in the next one.